So when we last met with our hero, he was presenting our week 8, which should have been week 9, and now we're on week 11. So don't worry about that. The point is, we're in week 11. We've got a couple weeks left in school. This is your final project presentation. Now, key word here is presentation. You're going to present this. So what we're doing now is you are making a slideshow to help with your presentation. So remember, this is something that helps with your presentation. So you're going to need to have some information on this slideshow. Now, last week, we should have made your plan. You should have come up with a plan for what you're going to do. And then you could start working on that plan, uh, scheduling your how you're going to build it, designing it, practicing whatever your skill is that you're going to teach, uh, all that kind of thing. And then you were submitting that on the Google form. So you weren't really working on it much last week. Last week was a pretty easy assignment, just getting the idea done and putting it in there. Now this week, this is where we start some work. You're going to start putting together your slideshow. So you want to start on the slideshow so that you know what information you need to acquire, things you need to have. You need to find images, videos. Uh, think about transitions, animations, text boxes. You're going to have text boxes with not long text, just like short bullet points. But you're going to start building that slideshow. Now next week, that's where you're going to finalize your slideshow, run through it in presentation mode, tweak things, change it, improve your slides, make it look good. So that when you present that to us on Screencastify, it's a top quality presentation. That's where we did the first four or five weeks when we were doing presentations, is working on making good presentations. And then the last few weeks, you were presenting things. So this week is going to be submitting things uh, on a Google form of your presentation uh, that you're working on, but it's really acquiring stuff. So you're going to be spending a lot of time getting pictures, getting videos, uh, collecting information for your slideshow. So this week, for your final project, the goal is to make your presentation. So is there any YouTube videos that you can use portions of, small little clips, you trim the clips and use those in your presentation? I'm not going to use a whole video. I don't want you turning in an instructional video that someone else made and say, hey, look, this is what I made. Boom, and show in the video. That's not going to fly. Not going to work. So while you're building things, while you're teaching things, get pictures, uh, screenshots, and maybe you find some stuff on the internet, videos that you make yourself so to help visualize the project or teach the skill. Now, if you're going to be building something, then slide four is going to be talking about that. If you're going to be teaching a skill, then slide five is going to be talking about that. And if you did a special project where you got permission from myself, Mr. Bale, then you're going to be using information from both. So on slide four here, if you're building a project, you need to collect pictures, screenshots, things you did while you're working on the project. Don't just go, I built this mountain, and show a final picture, and that's it. Now, again, not going to fly. We need to have pictures of the progress. So start your slideshow now so that you know what things you need to acquire throughout the process. If you've already built the thing, you know, you helped your dad build a fence over the weekend, well, that's great, but we need to want to know the process. So maybe I go out there and take apart part of the fence or ask him to help take apart part of the fence because he's going to be a little upset if you take apart the fence that he already just built and he comes home from work and he took apart the fence that he just built. No, probably not going to fly. So get pictures along the way. Plan ahead of time. Uh, you can start by doing your slideshow now so that you know what pictures you need of the process. Uh, be sure to look at any problems that you had. If there were some issues that you encountered along the way, then what are those problems, those issues? And then how did you take care of them? How did you fix them? And then there is a Google form that you need to submit the URL for your slideshow. So that's why you need to start your slideshow this week and get that turned in by the end of the week so that we know the progress. I'm not saying your slideshow has to be completed this week, but we want to see a slideshow posted so that we can look at it, so we can look at your progress, see how you're doing, see what you're working on, and kind of see what's happening. Now, if you're teaching a skill, going to teach me how to juggle. I had someone's going to teach me how to juggle. This is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to this. Colors, you know, you get pictures, collect your pictures, information on that skill. Uh, again,